And I want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between a Christian and a Catholic or a Protestant. And the reason I'm speaking about this is because I received an email from a disciple last night asking me to kind of clarify this. And I think it's a blessing because there's a lot of people out there who really still don't know the difference. And so I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. I'm not going to go into a lot of detailed explanations here in this video, but I will be available for you at my email address, which you'll find below in the information box, um, if you have any questions. Okay, I'm a Christian, a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm here for you. So what's the difference between a Christian and a Catholic or a Protestant? Well, first of all, I say Catholic or Protestant because Catholics and Protestants are part of the same family, and I know that that's going to cause a lot of eyebrows to raise, but yes, Catholics and Protestants are part of the same family. The word Protestant means someone who is a protester, and the reason that Protestants are called Protestants is because they are protesting against various of the doctrines and practices of the Roman Catholic Church, which is called the Mother Church to them. Um, the Roman Catholic Church was instituted in the 4th century under Constantine who declared uh, Christianity to be the official religion of the Roman Empire at that time. But what most of the world doesn't know is that it wasn't Christianity from the Bible. And this is my Bible. If you speak English, the King James Bible is the Word of God and this is my King James Bible. It is the Word of God. and. The Roman Catholic Church was not founded on the Word of God, it was founded on the Roman religion. And Constantine, the Roman Emperor, when he declared uh, Christianity to be the official religion of the Roman Empire so that they wouldn't persecute Christians anymore, um, the fiscal persecution was gone, but there was a new form of persecution, and that was either you come into this Roman Catholic Church, or we will still persecute you the same way we used to persecute Christians. And so a lot of people uh, gave up the truth of the Bible or came away from the truth of the Bible and began to flock into the Roman Catholic Church. And what the Roman Catholic Church is, is it's the Roman religion. It's the same Roman religion. It's a, it's a cathedral filled with the gods of the Romans, uh, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Pluto, all the gods of the, of the Romans, which are nobody. And what they did was they took names from the Bible like Jesus, Mary, Peter, Jude, Paul, and they took those names and they put them on the Roman statues that represented the Roman gods in the, in the Roman cathedral. And they called it Christianity. And they, uh, had their, they have their papacy, which is totally against the scripture, and they have all these things that are not found anywhere in the Bible, like the rosary, the holy water, the sacraments, uh, the popes, the costumes, the stained glass windows, the trinity, um, that they believe that salvation is through the church and that if you're excommunicated from the church then you're lost forever. All these things that, that Roman Catholics believe and teach, these are not Christian doctrines. These are Roman doctrines and they've just been given names that sound like the Bible to fool people into thinking that it's Christianity, but it's not Christianity at all. It's as different from Christianity as night and day. Why do I say that? Well, Christianity is the belief in the Bible. A Christian is a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's not my opinion, that's what the Bible says. Acts chapter 11 verse 26 says that the disciples of the Lord are called Christians. Okay, and Peter said that as well. That don't, don't, uh, if you suffer as an evildoer, you should be ashamed. But if you suffer as a Christian, then you shouldn't be ashamed. I'm loosely quoting 1 Peter 4.16. Um, but a Christian is a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, which means that what Jesus Christ does and says we follow after him we believe his word we obey his commandments we have obeyed the gospel that he gave to his holy apostles um, and so we're saved from our sins by repenting from our sins being baptized in jesus name for the remission of our sins and being filled with the holy ghost and that will cause you to speak with other tongues and prophesy that's how you become a christian according to the bible a catholic person is a disciple of the roman religion they believe that salvation is through the church they believe that the sacraments and the rosary and the, and the false priesthood and the costumes and all those things are ordained of God. They believe that Jesus Christ ordained it. They believe that the Pope is ordained of Jesus Christ when that's not the case at all. It's actually an abomination to the Lord because Jesus said, Call no man your father upon the earth, for you have one father in heaven. Okay. So the scripture is totally against, or I shouldn't say this, that, well, yeah, the scripture is totally against what the Roman Catholic Church teaches and practices. Uh, the way I was going to say it is the Roman Catholic Church is totally against everything that the scripture says. And both of those statements are true. 
and Protestants are people within that Catholic religion who protest against certain parts of the Roman doctrine and practices, but yet they still keep most of the other uh, doctrines and practices. For example, I was raised in the Lutheran Church. Okay, I didn't just hear about the Lutheran Church. I was raised in it, so I know about it. And the Lutherans profess themselves to be Protestants. <clears throat> they say that they're not Catholics because they protest against the doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church that states that salvation comes from Mother Church and that there's no salvation outside of the Roman Catholic Church. Well, Martin Luther discovered by reading the scriptures that salvation is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. And so they separated themselves from the, the Roman Catholic Church in that respect. And Lutherans are separated from the Roman Catholics in that respect, but they're also bound with the Roman Catholics in many other respects because they believe Roman Catholic teachings and keep Roman Catholic festivals that are not anywhere in the Bible. They believe in the Trinity, which is a Roman Catholic teaching, which is not found in the Bible. They keep the Christ Mass Festival, the Ishtar Festival, all the festivals of the Roman Catholic religion. They have uh, uh, confirmation. They have costumes. Their, their uh, ministers graduate from seminaries. All those things bind them together with the Roman Catholic religion because they're part of the same family. It's just that they call themselves Protestants because they protest against certain of the doctrines and practices of the Roman Catholic Church. This is the case with every Protestant denomination. Every Protestant denomination has its particular places where they protest against certain doctrines and practices of the Roman Catholic Church, but at the same time, every Protestant denomination has most of their religion based in the Roman Catholic religion and doctrines and separate themselves from God by, by their decision to reject the word of God and go rather after the traditions of the Roman whore. And I call her a whore because that's what the Bible calls her. Jesus has a name for that system of religion. He calls her mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. A harlot is a whore. Okay, Mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. If she's the mother of harlots, that means that she has daughters that are harlots. And this is the Roman Catholic religion and her Protestant daughters. Okay, they are all separated from Jesus Christ because they have names that are not Jesus Christ and they have doctrines that are not of Jesus Christ. And the scripture says, If any man come unto you and bring not this doctrine, this doctrine, if any man come unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. For he that, is, for he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker with him of his evil deeds. So those that are not in the doctrine of Christ are not Christians. They're not in the faith of Christ. Christians are those who are disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the difference. A Christian is a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. We read the Bible, which is his word. We believe his word and we obey his word. We teach his word. But Catholics and Protestants are part of a, a system of religion that Jesus calls Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And she is based in paganism. Her doctrines and practices are completely pagan. Um, they teach a little bit of the scripture in those denominations to fool you into thinking that you're Christian, but you're not Christian if you're a Protestant or a Catholic. That's the difference. A Christian is a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. A Catholic or a Protestant is a disciple of the Roman religion. Okay, You're either a disciple of Jesus Christ or of the Roman religion. If you're a disciple of Jesus Christ, which means that you believe his word, you read his word, you search the scriptures daily, and you strive to do what is pleasing to your master, Jesus Christ, then there's no way that you can be a Catholic or a Protestant because those groups of people believe and teach things that are contrary to the doctrine of Christ as it is written in the scripture. That's the difference. So if these things have offended you and you just want to write to me and yell at me or curse and swear at me or whatever, you're welcome to do so. That's what I have my delete button for. Okay, I'm not even going to entertain things like that. Uh, you have my email address in the information box below. If hearing these things has provoked you to a greater desire to seek God in his word, I'm here for you. Write to me and I will respond to you. And I'll answer your questions as far as what the scripture says on what you should do in this and that situation. How you can be saved. Who Jesus Christ is. How you can serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, before you write me, you can go to this website, which is above, www.swordofthevaliant.com. This website is on the internet for the purpose of teaching the doctrine of Jesus Christ from the Bible. So that people can come out of the filth of denominations and religion. Uh, the religions of men, and so that they can know how to serve Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Included on this website are, are epistles like Who is the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Principles of the Doctrine, Is Christmas Christian, 
uh, holy women of God, um, who are the sons of God, uh, what baptism is all about, what the Holy Ghost is all about, just the basics of the doctrine of Jesus Christ. They're all there on the website for you in English and in Spanish. And so please take the time to check that out. And if you have any questions, earnest questions, because you're desired to seek the Lord and know Him and be saved, then please write to me. I'm here for you. And like I said, if you want to just write to me and curse and swear or blaspheme or whatever, I'm just going to delete your email. Um, you're not going to be doing me any harm whatsoever. It only takes me about half a second to go click. So, you know, if you want to do that, that's between you and God. If you hate God, that's between you and Him. But if you love God and you want to serve Him, then I'm here for you as a priest. And I don't have a costume because priests don't have costumes. Our righteousness is on the inside. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ is our righteousness, those of us who are part of this royal priesthood. And I want you to be part of this royal priesthood too, so that you can save yourself. I am part of a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Blessed be the name of the Lord.